the National Socialist League of the Rye for Physical Exercise, NSRL, or National Sozialistische Reichsbund für Leibzubungen in German, played a crucial role in the realm of sports and physical education during the Nazi regime in Germany. This video explores the history, objectives, and impact of the NSRL, shedding light on its significant role during that time. Early Roots, Formation and Name Change Originally known as the German League of the Rye for Physical Exercise, Deutsche Reichsbund für Leibzubungen or DRL, the organization underwent a name change in 1938, adopting the title NSRL. Its primary function was to oversee and promote sports and physical education, initially in Germany and later in Austria following its annexation by Nazi Germany. Leadership Throughout its existence, the NSRL had a series of leaders at its helm. Hans von Chammer and Osten served as the organization's leader from 1933 to 1943, followed by Arno Breitmeier, 1943 to 1944, and Karl Ritter von Holt, 1944 to 1945. These leaders played a significant role in shaping the direction and policies of the NSRL. The Effects of Nazi Takeover the NSRL's origins can be traced back to the aftermath of World War I and the cancellation of the 1916 Summer Olympics, which were originally awarded to Berlin. At that time, it was known as the German Imperial Commission for Olympic Games, Deutsche Reichsausschuss für Olympische Spiel or DRA. However, this organization saw a significant transformation in 1917 when it was renamed the German Imperial Commission for Physical Exercise, Deutsche Reichsausschuss für Leibzubungen or DRL. Restructuring and Exclusion With the rise of the Nazi Party and Adolf Hitler's ascent to power, the sports landscape in Germany underwent a major transformation. All sports organizations associated with the Social Democratic Party, the Communist Party, or the Church were banned after the Enabling Act in March 1933. This had a profound impact on sports clubs, particularly those with an industrial workers' background. Leadership Changes in April 1933, Theodore Lewald, who had been leading the German sports office, resigned due to revelations about his family background. Hans von Chammer and Osten, an SA group leader, was appointed as the commissioner for gymnastics and sports of the Reich. Von Chammer played a crucial role in reorganizing sports in Germany, consolidating the NSRL's power. The Aryan Ideal the NSRL's primary objective was to promote physical exercise as a means to boost the morale and productivity of German workers, while instilling a sense of national pride. Physical fitness became a criterion for school graduation, employment, and university admission. The organization also staged large-scale events to promote its ideology and the concept of Aryan physical superiority. The 1936 Olympic Games in 1936, the NSRL played a significant role in organizing the Summer Olympics in Berlin, providing a platform for the Nazi regime to showcase its ideals. The Olympic Games received extensive live television coverage, making it a critical propaganda tool for Hitler's regime. Expansion and Decline The annexation of Austria in 1938 marked an expansion of the NSRL's influence. However, as World War II escalated, the focus shifted from physical exercise to militarism. Many sportsmen were conscripted, and the organization's influence waned. By 1945, after Nazi Germany's defeat, the NSRL was disbanded by the American military government. Legacy While the NSRL's ideology and methods are widely condemned, some of its organizational structures and systemic improvements in sports administration continue to influence modern sports organizations. Conclusion The National Socialist League of the Rye for physical exercise left a dark mark on the history of sports in Germany. Its promotion of Nazi ideals, exclusionary policies, and manipulation of sports for propaganda purposes are a stark reminder of the organization's controversial legacy. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal and Patreon in the description box below.